times it has happened with the Ravens to where you think they're gonna go left and they end up going right. You think that they're gonna zig and they end up zagging. You think they're gonna do one thing and they end up doing the opposite. So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Happy Thursday. Um, I hope everything is going good in you guys' lives. Uh, I really, 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 for real, man, appreciate uh, how much y'all support. Um, it's crazy to think about sometimes that it's uh, we almost at 45K. And, and I hate doing that. I, I hate talking about stuff like that before we actually get there. Uh, because I feel like that makes the process just start dragging a little bit and start taking that much longer. But it's all good because it's no rush to anything. Um, but it's crazy how so much people who you don't even know, uh, they show support and they show love. So I really appreciate y'all for real for doing that. Um, as y'all know, this is this is our job. This is our full time job. And um, it wouldn't be possible without y'all showing support and showing love the way that y'all do. Uh, I have, even though I did say it's, it's a lot of y'all that I don't know, I have come to know a lot of y'all through conversations, whether it be through DM and the comment section, Twitter, Insta, whatever it might be, because uh, we've talked a lot about some Ravens football, um, and a lot of you guys share your different ideas, your different philosophies on Ravens football and whatnot, things that you think are going on and why you think they're going on, and I have learned so much from y'all, and I appreciate you sharing that knowledge with me because it's just opened up my eyes to the game of football in a different way and it's put me on to so many different things man because i only know so i only know a tiny bit i don't really know much at all straight up man but you guys have taught me a lot and just i i, I love y'all for that so i appreciate it um now somebody who appreciates this opportunity i'm sure uh is Devonte freeman because he has officially been called up to the ravens active roster he is no longer on the practice squad. He said, oh, Le'Veon Bell, I'm out, baby. I'm gone. <laughs> See you next time, buddy. See ya. And now he's a part of the Ravens 53-man roster while Le'Veon Bell sits and he waits and he remains on the PS, the practice squad. So um, now, first off, with just distinguishing between those two, why this happened, uh, one of the reasons, John Harbaugh said it in a presser, uh, when they first signed uh, both Le'Veon Bell and Devontae Freeman, uh, and Latavius Murray too, uh, and Trent Cannon. They went on a signing spree, on a shopping spree at running backs. Um, but when this happened, uh, John Harbaugh said in the presser that with Le'Veon Bell, oh, he's in shape. He's in shape, good physique, all that good stuff, but he's not in football shape. And, and there's a big difference. Like with me, <clears throat> I'm not in shape. So if I try to go out there on a football field, I'll give you a good couple. Of, like I told you, I can play running back for the Ravens. I can play running back for the Ravens. I don't have fumbling issues. Me and Lamar, we would have that South Florida connection. So I get the handoffs quick. I, I, I pick up things quick. I would understand it quick. I'd be like, man, I've been watching y'all do this and seeing how y'all do it and whatnot, man. Just let me, let me know, Lamar, if you, if you want to keep it, okay, cool. If I'm going to keep it, all right, cool. Whatever you want to do. But I'm going to only be able to do that productively. Probably about a good two plays at a time, and then you gotta you gotta sit me for like a couple of drives till I catch my breath again, and then I'll be straight. But so there is a little difference with that. So Le'Veon Bell, he's in shape, but not football shape. Um, when John Harbaugh spoke about him, he talked about how uh, with Freeman and with Latavius Murray, uh, both of them and, and Latavius Murray, they signed him directly to the active roster right away. But he talked about with them how they've been through training camps this year. So they've been on rosters this year. So they went through the offseason this year. Le, uh, Bell had not been. He had just been out there as a free agent. So that played a big role in why he wasn't active or activated to the 53-man roster. Uh, so he's got to really get up to speed. And it's really uh, it's going to be something. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how Ravens do this thing because he was signed before week one. So this this is something that I, I'm, not, I'm confused on. And let me know in the comment section. If you know, please let me know. But because because I'm I'm un, I'm not sure about it, because I know any player that's on the 53 man roster, if they're on there before week one, um, then their salary for the entire season uh, is guaranteed. But if they get signed. 
uh, after week two, then their salary is not guaranteed. But I don't know how it works with the practice squad. I'm, I'm not sure how that is. But anyway, um, Devontae Freeman, he's made it. He's been called up. And Devontae Freeman was somebody that I felt was a better fit for the Ravens anyway as far as them at uh, running back. Um, I just felt like he was a better fit for the Ravens offense uh, and versus Le'Veon Bell. And the, the comparison sort of reminded me, excuse me, the comparison sort of reminded me of a Tyson Williams versus a Latavius Murray from what we saw on Monday night. Now, again, with Latavius Murray, we got we to gotta reserve judgment. And we got to reserve judgment for some other players, too. But we ain't going to talk about them. But with Latavius Murray, we got to reserve judgment for now because we got to remember this is new for him. He's, he literally just got to this team last week. So things are happening on the fly. It's a lot of on-the-job training, as we saw. It's, it's brand new. So keep that in mind when you watch Latavius Murray, when you analyze Latavius Murray from last week. He literally just got to this offense, just got to it. So but last week, uh, Tyson Williams, he had a much better burst, much better speed. Um, he just he looked better to me than Latavius Murray did as a fit for what Ravens do uh, on the field. And he got involved in a passing game, too. Now with Latavius Murray. While he didn't look explosive like a Tyson Williams, even a Trenton Cannon, where he specialized at, where Ravens, they really value, where, especially with Gus Edwards, he had been coming along in that area. And a, a lot of times, too, since J.K. Dobbins, he wasn't there yet. What the Ravens used to do sometimes, they would use Pat Ricard. But where Latavius Murray really does his thing yet, and he did his thing for the Ravens, was as a pass protector. And that goes such uh, a long way. For the Ravens. A pass as in pass protection. Pass protection from a running back. Because with Pat Ricard, they do it. With Latavius Murray, they did it too. There was one play where they had Latavius Murray in the backfield, next lined up next to Lamar. And then they motioned him. And then he went uh he went on the line of scrimmage. And he stayed there. And he he pass blocked. And I was like, oh, okay. Over there looking like a tight end. Be careful now. Cause Ray, though, be careful now, Latavius, because Ravens might switch your position. Be careful. The more you can do. But anyway, um, but with Freeman, man, he uh, he should be a good a good piece to this. Now, one thing that I, I think about and I worry about is Tyson Williams status, how this would affect uh, Tyson Williams status, because, you know, with the fumbles, how, if you're a young guy with the fumbles, how about don't play about that, man? That is one thing that can get you in the doghouse so fast. If you ha if you have a lack of experience and you start fumbling, oof, it's it's tough. If you're not the Ravens' best option at running back, or if you're not their main option at running back, like because it takes me back to Alex Collins, it takes me back to him. And with, when he came on the Ravens at at the time when he started fumbling. Because he came on, Alex Collins would be good for a big run. Y'all remember, Alex, every game, every single game, Alex Collins would break a big run. Huge play. We all be going crazy, yeah. But then every single game, too, he would always fumble. Every game. So then John Harbaugh in the press, he called him out. He said, hey, the fumbling, uh-uh. No, Alex Collins can't do that. But the thing that was so different about that press at that time, never forget, he said... We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. And not only did he say it, because, you know, coaches could get up there and just talk their talk, but they worked on it and he fixed it. And he stopped fumbling so much. And it was like, oh, wow. They, they stuck with him. They stuck with somebody who had fumbling issues. They did it. Wow. They didn't just doghouse him. So with Tyson Williams and Lamar Jackson, for me, I hope that they do that. Because there's, there's, they're obviously a little bit off. With their communication, with their just their chemistry, it's a little bit off. I gotta see where Tyson Williams. Maybe it's because he's not from Florida. Maybe I gotta see where he's from though. But since they're just a, a tad bit off, that could make them want to go in a different direction uh, as far as somebody to be uh, the starter. And when you looked at the second half of the game from Monday night, it seems as if they were going in that direction because. 
Tyson Williams went from seven carries, uh, two receptions in the first half, to two carries and I think one reception in the second half. And you saw Latavius Murray. And he ended up with more carries than Tyson Williams. So it just seems as if they are not going to let Tyson Williams be the guy. But again, against the Chiefs, we'll start to see uh, some of those questions get answered. Now, where, where does Devontae Freeman fit into all of this? Uh, well, it's nice to just have another running back on the roster. Uh, this gives you more options. It gives you more diversity. Uh, and it gives you somebody else that can come in and play the position. And somebody that's a good fit for the Ravens offense. Now, one thing that I hope does not happen with Devontae Freeman coming in. Um, because, again, I, I, I'm not sure how his pass protection is. I know how he is as a runner. I know the potential he has as a runner, what he's done in the past, what he could do for these Ravens. But I don't know how he is as a pass protector. He can catch, though. He can catch. It, it's, it's like the same thing as Tyson Williams. Good runner. Good runner with the offense, got good hands, ain't out there dropping stuff, but how will he be as a pass protector? So a lot of questions, like I said, they're going to get answered starting uh, this week uh, against Kansas City on Sunday night football. I've been waiting all day for Sunday. I know it's a lot of Ravens fans. I'm not really waiting for that game, though. <laughs> but, hey, we done seen it before, man. Hopefully, Ravens, hopefully they prove a lot of us wrong, man. Hopefully they do because... A lot of y'all said it, man. Like with Ravens, it, it would be very Raven of them, very typically Raven of them to go out, lose a game like that to the Raiders. And no disrespect to the Raiders. They did their thing. Congrats to them. Even though they, 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 they took the win and then they complained over the hits and stuff. Anyway, it would be very Raven of them to lose to the Raiders and then go out there and beat the Chiefs. It would be very, very Raven of them. But we'll see uh, exactly what happens in, in a couple of days. It's like right around the corner, man. Uh, so anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Congrats to Devontae Freeman. Uh, we'll see what type of role he has on the active roster now. Now that he's officially made it and told Le'Veon Bell, bye-bye, I'm out. Uh, so team, keep it clean. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Uh, y'all keep just being great because y'all y'all are phenomenal, man. Straight up. Y'all are phenomenal. Y'all do a phenomenal job of uh, just supporting and just seeing y'all on other people's platforms too, uh, and other people's channels and stuff, um, I, I I thank you so much for that, man. Thank you. Uh, so again, just like Devontae Freeman told Le'Veon Bell after he got called up from the practice squad, I'm out.